My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and I am super proud today to present to you Felicity, which is a 2015 MJM 40Z. This boat has been maintained by a fabulous owner. He has a captain that helps him maintain this boat to a pristine level, and it really shows. So please take a look at this video, and if you have any questions for me about this MJM or any other express cruiser on the market, feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video. So we'll start our tour with the exterior walkthrough and I just love how these boats open up. I've got this aft curtain rolled up, it really joins the space between the pilot house and the cockpit. But um, also I love the traditional look of this boat. You've got this nice curved tumble home on the transom designed by Doug Zern. Um, you've, he, this owner had the hull painted for to be majestic dark blue, white boot stripe, gold cove stripe, and then I love the red bottom paint. This boat is so handsome looking. And also this boat has the S-Tech decking with uh, white lines. Um, it's more typical to see that in the cockpit in the pilot house, but they've also added this on the swim platform. I think that's a really nice look as well. But underway, this boat is just so graceful looking. With the beautiful bow flare, keeping the boat nice and dry. Of course, this 40Z is category A, offshore safety rated. You can get a glimpse on the hard top here, how you have a lot of equipment, which we'll get into in a minute. But this is a very fully equipped MJM 40Z. We'll take a closer look at the hull. You can see just how nice she is. This boat, uh, while these 40Zs don't require a captain, this particular owner does have a full-time captain that keeps this boat up in pristine condition and it certainly shows. Uh, this is a great owner-operator boat um, but sometimes um, just to get to the next level, uh, having a full-time help is, is great. So um, that's what Felicity has had. This boat's never been south of New York City. Always been stored and heated into storage. And she shows. Cushions are in fabulous condition. as is the decking. It's a little bit of a dewy morning here, but um, you can get a good sense of condition. I love for the 40 how you have the side access door either the, to port and it also here to starboard. And from floating deck height, floating dock height, sorry, to the cockpit all the way up at the helm, there are no steps. So the flow of this boat is just so graceful. And with this aft area opened up, you can even roll up these side windows. And this has the optional electric front opening windows. This boat, you can just fully open it up like you're in a center console. However, typical in New England, if the weather gets gross, you can close everything up and have nice protection.
Um, moving forward on the side decks, you can see immediately walking up, you have first, I should show you these, the step to get up to side decks. And then immediately you have a handrail to help you get up. And then you're also met with the stainless rail, which you can easily walk forward nice and safely. And then you're met with this beautiful stainless bow rail. Really nice clean deck up here. You have an electric anchor windlass, which is also controlled at the helm. You also have a automatic uh, freshwater flush, which is also controlled at the helm. I love this position of the spotlight because while in use, it doesn't illuminate any of the stainless, which it would otherwise do if it was mounted on the hardtop. We'll take a quick look aft. We'll hop up and take a look at these antennas so you can see what we have here. Um, so we have a VHF antenna. This is an AIS antenna here. These owners have uh, installed the FLIR camera. They do run the boat at night, so they find the FLIR camera is great while coming into a foreign harbor. Um, you've got GPS antennas. This is your um, Volvo IPS antenna, so you can have station keeping. Um, radar and KVH TV antenna. So very well equipped. I'll show you in a minute what we're working with on electronics at the helm. I also love the simplicity of these cleats. And look, as you have, um, on a dewy morning like today, you have these scupper drains. So in lieu of the water all coming off on the side of the hull and having that black line uh, on the side of the hull, all uh, four deck drainage comes to right there, which is really clever. Fuel fill. Now this aft bench seat, which I should mention, um, <coughs> this bench seat or these covers don't need to be removed to access this uh, large engine hatch. Uh, you do have the movable chair here, which is great um, because you can move this table right here aft into this position um, so you can dine. Um, a couple people aft here, but with this chair, you can slide this up, eat, have another person um, eat around the table, and also you're gaining access to the third door, which is granting you uh, easy accessibility to your swim platform. Uh, you do have a ladder for swimming and all that as well here, but I really think that this chair is very clever and it's a nice addition. Um, for this model year of 40Z. Okay, now let's head into the pilot house. You can see how nice of a condition the Isinglass is on this boat. It's been kept up in beautiful shape. We're getting towards the end of the season here and you can see how they've done a nice job keeping it clean. You do have a little bit uh, towards the end of the season, you'll get a little growth down here. This is easy to clean uh, just with a magic eraser. Um, but I also love the ability with these electric windows, you'll use them all the time on the 40, depending on how fast you're going, just to regulate how much air you want coming through the cabin. Um, it really negates the need to run air conditioning on a nice day, which is great. But I love these two forward-facing helm chairs. It's nice to have a forward-facing companion that will help you navigate. It's nice that it's on the port side. They have a little bit of a different vantage point than you do on the starboard side of the boat. Um, but at the helm, this is a fully equipped electronics package here. I'm sitting at the helm chair and you can just see how nice a visibility you have just looking around. I also love with these downy style windows you have direct access to the spring cleat so you can dock this boat and tie it up out of dock 
without leaving the helm because of the ability to roll this up and tie up a breast line. Um, but here you have a 16 inch screen, I believe a nine inch uh, Raymarine screen. Look at how nice the install is on here. They're all flush mounted. Uh, but when you're in a heavier C, you also have easy access, right just with the arm's reach to this wired remote to control the zoom and all sorts of different functions on either of these two displays. Here you have your Seakeeper gyro stabilizer. This is your FLIR camera right here. And of course, easy um, to regulate your stereo system with this Fusion mounted right here. Um, you have uh, your spotlight controls. This has a Kallenberg horn. The horn on these boats are the real deal. Um, it's, it's not some wimpy little horn. Um, and then you have these electric opening windows. As I've mentioned, underwater lights right here. So really fully equipped area. I love how this boat runs while underway with this destroyer wheel here. It's, it's all fingertip steering and nice feedback from the Volvo IPS drives run running the boat. If you're feeling particularly lazy, you can even drive the boat with your feet, which is kind of nice. Um, you, of course, you do have autopilot, but um, I think you'll find that you put this boat in a straight line and you can let go of the wheel and she just tracks so nicely. So um, the 40Z is a very well behaved boat while underway. And for storage, which there is a tremendous amount of storage, this boat was designed for engines being aft on the boat. So your engines end right here. Most traditional power boats, your engines are all up in the pilot house. It's, it's noisier with a direct drive system. They're slower, less efficient. So there's a lot of benefits to having propulsion aft. But so, well, part of those benefits is the fact that you're gaining so much extra volume of usable space on the boat. Um, this gives MJM the ability to put in a, your generator, Northern Lights generator, and your Seakeeper 5 center line on the boat. Um, Ford, again, is your air conditioning units. But uh, Doug Zern has done a great job um, designing accessibility for all systems on the boat. Um, so fixing things or servicing um, anything is easily done. But my favorite storage location is these areas here. Um, you can fit so much gear on this boat. It's fabulous. You can put full-size bikes down here, golf clubs, uh, water toys, which it looks like these folks have a fair amount of water toys on board um, just for a day of boating. Or if you're in cruising mode, it's really nice to be able to bring bikes. And you have the same amount of storage on the port side here. So nice. Um, you can fit three fenders here. I like underneath this storage compartment. I like to have your wash down gear, which these folks do as well. So it's just a very smart use of space. There's a spot for everything on board the boat, whether you're cruising or day boating. So I love this design. Um, and I almost forgot, you have a drop down TV here. So if you want to watch the game um, while up on the pilot house, you can do so. Um, and you do have a TV down below, which I'll get to in a minute. So, but looking at condition for a second here, you can just see how nice of condition the stit seats are in, the armrests are in great shape. This boat has been extremely well maintained. So, she is a really nice piece. Your varnish table is in beautiful condition. I love these catch-all drawers right here as well. So um, 
if you're interested in a 40, this is certainly a very neat and tidy and highly well-maintained boat. But now let's get down below. So going down below in Felicity, we'll take a quick pan just so you can get a broad perspective. <clears throat> I really like this uh, custom made carpet, but underneath you can see how just beautiful the cabin sole is. So on the 40Z you have this four and a half facing dinette seat. By far the most popular arrangement uh, that they have. And so this can drop down and there's a dedicated filler cushion that comes in the middle here. Um, for privacy, if you guess want a little bit more privacy, there's these fittings on the hard top here. Um, so you can connect a curtain. Um, and so that's a nice solution. But also, um, <clears throat> when they're sleeping at night, this comes down. So you don't have all the lights from the electrical panel. But um, in night mode, this is the privacy door for the four cabin here. Um, so your guests have direct access into the head, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so it's a nice cabin. Your guests can have access to the head at night. And so it's a really clever layout. Um, and I'll also notice how you only have these three steps to go down below. Um, so you have a single level deck in the pilot house, three steps below. That's the only steps you have on the boat, both to get on because of the side doors and, um, and getting down below. So there's not a lot of up and down on these boats. Um, off to port, you have a galley. And this galley is uh, updated throughout the, the years. Um, so you have the corner freezer, which is a really popular option, clearly in use. Um, you have a convection microwave, and you also have these upper galley cabinets as well. And these upper galley cabinets have added a lot of storage um, from the earlier boat, so it's it's definitely a nice thing to have for sure. Um, and then outboard, of course, you have uh, you have this. Bill, they've built this bottle storage here uh, for beverages and um, just really nice uh, storage right here. Um, underneath the cabin sole, you do have additional space for storage, but. Um, you can see how the fit and finishes with the MJMs with these dovetail joints, soft closed drawers, and really nice positive locks uh, so you can lock these before you get underway. But nice and deep, really sensible galley. And then for your refrigerator, you've got this as well, refrigerator. So these can store a lot. Of course, you also have your trash, which also can be accessed from here. I really like this. Uh, you have 100 gallons of water on board, um, and this is a carbon filtered water system. Um, so you can, uh, it's potable, drinkable water on board. And then you have your typical hot and cold um, <clears throat> uh, water pressure as well. You can't quite notice it, but you also have this band of LED lights, which really help illuminate this working space at night. Other details that I love about the 40 is you have this uh, vac system, which is really great to um, keep the boat nice and tidy. Uh, all the bits and bobs are in here. So from the center line, you can get forward and aft um, uh, with that hose. So it's just nice to uh, be able to suck stuff up as you're in cruising mode really easily. Again, more storage. Moving forward to the master cabin. I just love the feel of this master cabin with the cherry battens on either side 
real traditional feel, um, nice quality. <clears throat> you have these drawers underneath as well. Again, all soft clothes with nice positive locks. And since we're down here, the cab sole is in perfect condition. This is also great storage, as you can see. And then to port, you have a hanging locker. This is where your AC ducting comes out to cool this cabin. Access to your anchor locker up here. And then to starboard, you have more storage. And then aft, you have the stall shower, which is separate from the head. And I really like this design. You can have someone showering on here, someone in the head. Um, it's a good, great use of space. This shower is easy to keep clean. Everything uh, drains into a sump pump and gets pumped out automatically. Now let's head to the engine room. And here we are uh, taking a look at the engine space on Felicity. As you can see, we have the large compartment opened up. This, this opens up with just a touch of a button. You don't need to remove any of the cushions. I just moved the chair right to here, press the button, it lifts, lifts right up. Um, but your daily checks are actually right here. So by, um, by opening up this hatch, you've got your uh, oil dipstick and then your seat strainer. Um, you've got your fuel filters uh, or oil filters and fuel filters right here. Um, and, uh, but if you're doing more of a substantial sort of servicing or engine room cleaning, you can open this up and you can see just how clean this engine space is. Uh, the 40Z doesn't come standard with an oil change pump, so these owners uh, incorporated an oil change pump for the generator and the port and starboard engine, so that's what that system is there. Um, you've got underwater lights. Um, you can see the wire coming out right here. We've got the exhaust fan on. We just came back from the sea trial from the drone shots that are on this video. Uh, but these are the IPS uh, 500s. These engines have about 860 hours on them. Uh, with the IPS 500s, you're cruising in that 30, 31 knot range. You're getting about one nautical mile per gallon, and she'll throttle all the way up to about 36 knots or so with these engines. So um, quite fuel efficient, quite quiet with these IPS drives, and look at this accessibility for the engine space. I really love it how they do this on the 40. So uh, this will conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough tour. If you have any questions for me about this express boat or any other express boat on the market, feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video.